sitting in a park on the edge of a playground. I'm aware that I've reached the age where an old white man sitting in a park on the edge of a playground could be construed as creepy. Our daughter and granddaughter are here. Story time is in the park today. Now this is a really busy park. There are all kinds of people from all different walks of life in this park. All different kinds of stories. Some folks quite obviously slept here last night. I can smell marijuana. So some of them are enjoying themselves in that way. See, the easiest thing for me would be to internally pass judgment on the ones that I think don't quite stack up. But that is not the heart of God. That is not the heart of Jesus. In the New Testament, there's a book called First Peter. Um, as a tip, it's right before Second Peter. First Peter chapter four, verses seven and eight. Here we go. It says, since we are approaching the end of all things, be intentional, purposeful, and self-controlled so that you can be given to prayer. Above all, constantly echo God's intense love for one another, for God's love will cover like a canopy, a multitude of sins. How's that for our marching orders as followers of Christ? At any given time, our marching orders don't include passing judgment, condemning. Our marching orders are to pray and to love. So as I sit here in the park and I watch all of these people, all of these children of God, I am praying God's best for all of them. And I'm doing everything in my power to love them. I think right now that just means praying for them. And that's enough. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, when you see people who are different, people who maybe are engaging in questionable behaviors. Pray and love. It's that simple. Grace and peace.